Nityanandam, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Param Shivam. Um, today's episode, I want to share something that is um, happening yesterday. Uh, as you guys might know, we do this daily Vargata Salas. So actually, I created a playlist on my channel and um, I'm linking all these uh, videos in there so you can go and click on this playlist and see uh, where we have these discussions about spiritual truth to raise our cognitions. Um, I wanted to share this with, this with you guys. So recently I was kind of uh, facing a blind spot when it came to the delusion. Why do we create delusion for ourselves? Is it possible for me to create a delusion? Everything is Paramashiva, so the delusion I create must be his creation only. So I was stuck in that thought current. And uh, yesterday Swamiji gave a beautiful answer during satsang, and then we were talking about it a little bit during Vargata Sadas, is that actually Paramashiva is not responsible for the delusion you created for yourself, I created for myself, and so on. Paramashiva gave us the freedom to create. He is responsible for that freedom, not for what we do with that freedom. And that is where we get caught. So we, we have a clean canvas that is given to us, but we don't have the full understanding of the cosmos. So when we start to create on this canvas, we create from our understanding, which is incomplete. That is why everything we create in our life is based on delusion and creates a karma, which we then have to experience and we get stuck in this endless cycle of life and death, suffering and so on. But if you realize that you don't have the complete intelligence to create and you decide to stop to create what you're creating now and surrender to Paramashiva in the form of Guru, you surrender to the Guru, you allow the Paramashiva, the Guru, Swamiji, to give you that cosmic intelligence, to awaken that cosmic intelligence in you fully so that you can create without creating karma for yourself. And what I felt is that in the latest satsang, Swamiji was saying, Tat Purusha, which is the fourth uh, phase and phase of uh, Paramashiva or Sadashiva, is responsible for not putting you in delusion, but pulling you out of the delusion. So, what I realized, what was clicking today is that Swamiji was saying, and not only Swamiji, the Vedic tradition says that having a human body on this plane, Buloka, is the only space where we can achieve enlightenment. Why? Because in this space we have the freedom. Paramashiva gives us the freedom on this plane in a human body. A god might have powers, but he doesn't have freedom. Same for a demon. Demons have powers, but they don't have freedom. Only when you take a body on this plane, Buloka, a human body, the freedom of Paramashiva is experienced. When we start to play with that freedom, we realize the delusion. We create delusion and we realize how we complete with the fourth phase of Paramashiva, which is that Purusha, the um, pulling out of delusion. Unless you experience delusion, you cannot realize the importance of the Tat Purusha dimension phase and phase of Sadashiva. So, what was clicking with me today is that, oh my God, we are taking this body to taste the power of freedom, that freedom that Paramashiva gives us. And as we taste it, we realize that we create delusion. As we create delusion, we realize that something is not ultimate. And then we connect to Paramashiva through His grace. And, uh, and then we can realize that, yes, Paramashiva has a face and phase, which is Trobhava, which means removing from the delusion. And then we can complete the, with that and realize the full Paramashivoham experience within us. So it is important to taste that power of freedom, of creation, so that we can realize the uh, pulling out of delusion phase of Paramashiva and realize that completion with Paramashiva within us. So we'll see what Swamiji reveals in the next discourses, but uh, that is the click that I'm having today. And that is why it's important to realize that yes, I am creating something, but I'm not creating from with Buddhi. Buddhi means having the cosmic intelligence, 
the awareness of everything, all the multiverse, the dimensions, all the phases and faces, the 25 states of consciousness, when you are aware of all that, then you can create consciously without creating karma. But when you are not aware of that, you create, but you create karma as well, because your creation is incomplete. And we have to realize that our creation is incomplete so that we can surrender, invoke the grace of that Purusha, of the fourth phase of Sadashiva, so that we can be pulled out of delusion and given liberation and realize the Paramashivam experienced. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. For me, it was a big click and um, hopefully it is for you also. It brings a lot of clarity and puts the pieces of the puzzles together and really shows us the importance of surrendering to the Guru. Like in a video that I posted recently, Shiva is Guru and we have to listen to the Guru. In that space of listening, Guru pulls us out of delusion and allows liberation to happen in us. So uh, with this guys, um, always thank you for your support, for your views, um, supporting the channel and hopefully being enriched by this content. Um, like, subscribe, share with friends and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Nidanandam. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Ooh.